Thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and those who did not subscribe please I beg you to subscribe to my channel. I am here again, MC Andy, with something very interesting with my guest here today. And today we are going to talk about something that many people have been asking and feel much concerned about, that they want to know more about, and that is about the difference between the American accent and the British accent. By the way, if you are a member of this group, a uh, member of this family of the MC Andy, you should not be bothered with any question. You can always send your questions and they will be answered in all ways. Now, here I have my guest, is my colleague, Mr. Akiki Steven, and uh, he's among the linguistics that I've met in my life. And uh, he knows English, not that he just speak it, but he's a profession in teaching English language. So, sir, you are welcome all. And uh, feel free, feel at home, say something to the audience and we shall come back to our topic. Uh, thank you so much, my host, Ande. Uh, my name is Steven Akiki and I'm very happy to be back on this channel with this a topic that we're going to discuss. Mm -hmm. This is a, also a reminder from me that if you have not subscribed to this channel, this is high time you subscribe because the content here is so much important to you as you live your life. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, uh, the question is, mm. why uh, language learners they always become so confused because they try to watch mm -hmm. movies which yes. are in English language, yes. but they come up with a difference of understanding. Mm -hmm. Which accent is this? Is this American? Is this British? Mm -hmm. You know, like, and we're in the market, yes. we are in a struggle, like, languages are fighting each other mm. so they come like they are so confused mm. with what is the difference mm. and which one by the end of the day let us let us, let us come to the conclusion that which would be the best that a language learner should focus at so mm. welcome uh, thank you so much uh, mm. uh, my host mm. uh, I must say that you who is out there mm. and you're watching us mm. We are dealing with the language. Mm. We are not dealing with any other thing apart from language. Mm. And language is affected by very many things. Mm -hmm. Number one, when we are talking about uh, language, we are talking about accent, how mm. you speak the language. Mm. Number two, we are talking about vocabulary. Mm. Those are the words that you use. Mm. Number three, we are talking about mm. the prepositions you can use or mm. even the spellings of the words. Mm. that you use. Mm. Now, Brother Ande, mm. uh, somebody out there may be asking himself mm. or herself, mm. why are these languages looking different, mm. but we call them the same name? Mm. It is English, mm. American English, mm. but then you also have the British English. The British mm. English. Mm. There are some few, there are some few mm. differences that mm. they want us to look at. Thank you very much for that. Uh -huh. Now, the first <laughs> difference that we can talk about mm. is the spellings. Mm. Now, the spellings in the American mm. language, American English, mm. and the spellings in the you, you are, uh, the British, the British mm. uh, English language mm. is different in this way. Mm. Uh, those of you who are using computer and the phones, mm. when you type a word mm. Mm. and you put an S, mm. like characterize mm. or exercise, mm. uh, in the UK, uh, that is British. Mm. You will find them uh, using S, mm -hmm. mm. and then in the US, they will put the Z. They will put the Z. Mm. And mostly the computers and the phones. That is what is there. Mm. So, in the spellings, they are quite uh, different. Mm. So when you read some words, I mean mm. when you read some books. Uh, where you find Z, you mm. know that that is the American. Mm. Where you find an S, that is a British. That is the UK. British in the spelling. Mm. I see. That is one of the differences. Mm. Uh, somebody out there watching us should should get to learn. Of. I see. I see. And then another thing that mm. we can talk about mm. are the vocabularies. Mm. There are different words that are used. Now, let us start with with uh, this vocabulary here. Mm. We know uh, college. 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 Mm. In the US, they will call it college, and then in the UK, they will call it a university. Okay, okay. 
Mm. Those are the differences. Mm. Now, in the UK, mm. you will also find them using an apartment, mm. and then the British, mm. they will use a flat. A flat. A mm. flat. Mm. And they mean the same. And they mean the same the thing. The vocabulary is different. The vocabulary is, I get is different. Mm. And then, mm. the last one maybe that we can talk about, we can share about. Mm. Uh, in the UK, mm. sorry, in the US, mm. in, the, in the American English, mm. you'll find them using the word mm. movie. Mm, mm, the movie, mm, you people mm. watch movies, I know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, and then, in the British, mm. the British English, you will find them using cinema. Mm. Those are two. Cinema and movie. And, and movie. Mm. Mm. So, those are some of the differences that we can find in these, uh, these two languages. Mm. Then, lastly, maybe the prepositions. Oh. And you know, you people who have learned at least the language, we have prepositions mm, in that grammar. Those ones mm. that show relationship mm. on, at, of, and, and many so many others. others. And mm. so many others. Mm. Now, I want to use these uh, these sentences, mm. and then you will tell uh, you will tell the difference. Mm. Uh, in the American, uh, you can you you can find them saying mm. uh, from Monday through Friday. Mm. Then in the uh, British mm. English, mm. they will say from Monday to to, to Friday. Mm. That is the difference. Here we have through, through, and here we have to. We have to. Meaning the same. Yeah, meaning the but same. Different thing. prepositions. Yes, different prepositions. <laughs> and then the, the uh, other sentence that uh, we can talk uh, about mm. I'm going to a party mm. on. Mm. Friday mm. or on the weekend. Mm. That is American. Mm. The, the, the preposition that we have used is on. Mm. On the weekend. Mm. Now, the British English, for them they will use at. Okay. I'm going mm. uh, to, to the, the party, party at the at, weekend. At the weekend. Mm. So, those are some of the differences mm. that, that we can bring out. Mm. Yeah, mm. The spellings, so, the vocabulary mm. and then the maybe the the way they use the prepositions mm. yeah mm. so now if you have been out there and you feel confused in yourself mm. on what should you do or what is the difference between these two languages please i think you've got something but i have one last question that i will ask the the specialist of course when you have a specialist you have to make sure that all questions are answered now before i let you go yeah. What would you recommend, like for English learners, which accent should we focus at? And which one would make us feel like mm. when I'm watching movies, mm. I will understand well? Which one do you recommend? Uh, well, mm. uh, the confusion comes in mm. uh, when you tell yourself mm. that there is a difference mm. between these two languages. Mm. Mm. The most important thing is knowing mm. that a language is a medium of communication. Yes. It is a way you can communicate to mm. the other mm. to the other person. Mm. Now, this is one language mm. which is English. Mm. But the only difference mm. comes in those areas. Mm. Accent the way you speak. Mm. Uh -huh, then the vocabulary is the words. Mm. And then maybe any other thing. Mm. But it is the same language in which you are communicating. Same language. Mm. So when you are watching movies, mm. the most important thing is mm. do you know do you know what they are talking about? Mm. Mind it, about the content. Yes, the content in there. Mm. Is it the language that that you know? Mm. Or you are bringing words from other languages mm. and you are putting them in mm. the English language. Mm. Mm. I see. There are some words which are always borrowed mm. from other languages. Okay. Now mm. there you will know that mm -hmm, this is this is not English. Mm. Mm. So when you're watching movies, mm. you must have that capacity. You must, must have that ability. Yeah. Mm. You should actually know that mm. it is the same language. Mm. But the way the words are spoken mm. is quite different. different. Yeah. Thank you very much. I, I think, uh, well, if there would be any other question or any concern about this, please, you can still put here in your comment. And by the way, if you have not subscribed, that's a big crime that you shouldn't do. 
you should subscribe and thank you Mr. Kiki for joining us here it has been good to have you and I'm sure that many people have learned a lot from your speech and uh, me too I've learned a lot and uh, we thank you all for watching let me see you when you happen to see me another time inshallah